Elite Screens. Get the big picture. When shopping for a new projector, one is often confronted with the term ANSI lumens, which refers to the amount of light a projector is reportedly able to produce. ANSI lumens are reported numerically, often with a figure in the high hundreds to even thousands. The higher the number, the brighter the projector. While ANSI lumens are important, it's really only half the story when it comes to assembling a two-piece projection setup. The other factor is the screen, more specifically, the screen size and gain. Before we go any further, it's important to note that SMPTE, the Society of Motion Pictures and Television Engineers, has developed a standard for the amount of light necessary for proper cinematic playback in a darkened room, be it in a commercial cinema or your home. SMPTE calls for a minimum of 12-foot Lamberts and a maximum of 22, with the ideal number resting in the middle at 16-foot Lamberts. In ambient light conditions, for example a living room, the number of foot Lamberts required for a proper cinematic experience rises to around 50 foot Lamberts. We need more light to overcome the effects of the ambient light in the room in order to avoid a washed out image. To calculate foot Lamberts we must take the ANSI lumen figure from our projector and divide it by the square footage of our choice in screen. For example, take a 1000 ANSI lumen projector and divide it by 30 square feet or roughly the square footage of a typical 100 inch diagonal projection screen and you will arrive at approximately 33 foot Lamberts. To get a truer sense of the image's total light output or luminance, meaning the projector's ANSI lumens combined with the screen's reflectivity or gain, we must multiply 33 foot Lamberts by the screen's reported gain. Typical matte white screens have a gain of anywhere between 1.0 and 1.4, whereas gray screens or negative gain screens can have a gain ranging from 0.5 to 0.9. Ambient light rejecting screens are a little different, for they often sport a grayish color but can possess positive gain in some cases, sometimes as high as 1.8. For simplicity's sake, here is a table showing how gain affects image luminance for a variety of screen sizes all using a projector possessing 1000 ANSI lumens. From this simple chart we can see that a 1000 ANSI lumen projector projecting onto a 100 inch screen with a gain of 0.5 to 1.0 will have sufficient to more than sufficient brightness for viewing in a darkened environment. However, one must step up to a positive gain screen with a gain of 1.5 if they wish to use this same projector in ambient light conditions and still retain a cinematic quality presentation. As you can see, a true cinematic experience, one that is bright with solid contrast, falls on the shoulders of your projector as much as it does the screen itself. The larger your screen, the more gain it will require or brightness on behalf of your projector to fully engross you with a proper big screen experience. Toss in ambient light and even more brightness and or gain will be required. Thankfully, there is no shortage of bright projectors on the market today. Not to mention, a wide variety of projection screen surfaces for virtually every occasion and environment. Elite Screens. Get the big picture.